Hello everyone, this is Devin Adams again. Um, I am a Fortinet instructor here in Tempe, Arizona. And uh, I will be the first one to admit that the last video was kind of crappy towards the end. So uh, a couple of things I didn't realize. I didn't realize that you couldn't point to specific objects once you group them together on the installation targets. All right, so I better just back up a little bit and take a second to really explain policy packages in this video and also what it really means for the installation targets and also how can we pick and choose um, our targets and, and when would we use a group versus the individual ones to begin with. Now all of that probably didn't make sense until we get in there and start looking so why don't we just skip and jump right to the point. So, um, so in the last video we had a goal to essentially have a set of firewall policies for a particular group of devices like our remote offices and then once in a while we'll have to pick and choose which part of our policies gets applied out of that package for a particular device all right now I just want to iterate something here okay when we do our installation targets all right so let's go there real quickly so this will make more sense so we have our branch offices, our baseline, and when we pick our installation targets here, see how we did our branch group for our branches? That points our policy package to our branch FortiGates, okay? So just kind of like how we had our antivirus one pointed to our installation targets, all right, our local FortiGates. Now you'll see here, because it is assigned here, all right, there's going to be some confusion on where they're supposed to be pointed to. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those two, all right, because I don't need them there anymore. And because it is grouped together, we refer to all the FortiGates that are a part of the branches. But do you see how we lose the ability to pick each one? Well, here we actually had one firewall policy that was supposed to go out to our branch FortiGate and the other one was supposed to be branches. Well, it applied both of them to the branch FortiGate because the branch FortiGate was a part of the branches group. Okay, that's what happened with the last one. All right, so, but you'll see here, if I select branches as my installation target, we lose the ability to individually pick out those FortiGates. All right. So this is the first fundamental here. If there's particular ones that you want to point to, they have to be referenced individually along with the group. So that's one thing I did not realize. All right. So I'm going to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to be pointing to the branch FortiGate and the remote FortiGate separately. Okay. And that way, when I come here and I say, hey, you know what? the branch FortiGate should get that top policy and then the remote FortiGate should only get that policy and I'll take out branches. Alright, so that way the branch FortiGate gets the one with the web filtering. Alright, and the remote one only gets the one that the rest of them would get. So in other words, if we are going to pick and choose you have to have them on the install target all right so when would we use that third option for branch and that or for our branches group that would be something that would be applied universally across the board to all of them okay so for an example maybe we have some kind of like you know um, universal rule that all ping traffic going out to the internet should be blocked from our internal side Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new rule. I'm going to call it block ping. Blocks. Be like, be nice if I could type. All right. So our incoming is going to be LAN. All right. Our outgoing is going to be WAN. All right, sources is going to be our local LAN. Okay. And 
then our destination address is all, but for services, we're going to say, hey, you know what? I, I really don't want anyone pinging. How do I just type it up here? Ping. There it is. Boom. Okay. And the action is going to be deny. All right. And then we have to drag it. Oh, come on, buddy. You can do it. There we go. Up there. And now, you see how installation targets? We're going to switch that to, all right, branches. So you're going to see that the ones in our branch offices that are going to be universal across the board, we can point to our group that we created in the last video. Then the individual ones that we want to do, all right, we can pick and choose here what targets we want. That way you can have like 75, 80% of your firewall policies be universal in a package, okay? And then just pick and choose those specific ones that you want. All right, that's one way we could do it. We could also clone within our branch office another one, right, that just simply says web filtering or web monitoring and just point it to just the, the installation target to just the one branch office that we want. So there are several ways that we can do this. I'm just trying to give you guys more examples. Um, but now that that's done, let's see if it actually works now. All right, so uh, we're going to go to our install wizard. Okay, branch offices. All right, looks good. Okay, here we go. And hopefully it'll work this time. <laughs> All right, sounds good. And I'm going to hit pause here so you don't have to watch it sit here for 100 years. So just one moment, guys. All right, there we go. Okay, okay. Now let's see if that actually accomplished it this time that we want to accomplish. Um, so first I'm going to verify that I got synced. Yay! And as you can see, the last policy package that was applied, okay, is going to be the one that has the synced status on it. All right, so we are now in a synced status with our baseline. But did it actually accomplish what we wanted to accomplish? That's the real key there. So um, let's go first check out the remote. Fortigate. All right. And we'll go to our policy and objects. Mm -hmm. Here we go. And as you can see, we only have one policy for the internet access, but we had this blocked one that was on top. All right, so not too bad. Let's go ahead and take a look at that branch office one. I know that was a little confusing. I called it branch Fortigate branch offices. I know that's a little confusing. Sorry, guys. So. Okay, and this one should have the web filtering on it. So, ta da! So, as you can see there, we used the universal branches to put the block ping, and that would represent like the same policies or, a, you know, the same policies in the policy package that would go on all of them, and then the ones that we can pick and choose. All right, so we can go ahead and do that. So, um, hopefully that was a little bit better of an example of, <laughs> of how those would work there. Um, and then you can see we are now in a synchronized state. So uh, if that was really too, too bad, guys, just let me know. I can always try to record it again. I, I try to put my errors in here as much as my successes because I know you might run into your own um, trip ups working in, in your lab environment. So, But I am going to go ahead and end it there. Uh, I think I'm going to wrap up the videos for the week. 
for the weekend at least by making this data center uh, one. So, um, and I'll probably do that before I go to bed. I probably shouldn't record so many during the day too. So, start getting a little loopy. But, anyways, all right, guys. Sounds good. See you soon.